It's the year 233 AC. Makar I is the king of Westeros. He succeeded his brother Ares I when a series of unexpected deaths made him the only remaining heir to the crown. First, the eldest son Baylor Breakspear died during a trial of seven, and both his sons as well as King Daron died in the Great Spring Sickness. So Ares became king and named his brother Prince Rhaegal as his next heir, but he died while choking on lamprey pie. So his young son Prince Aelor was named heir, but he died at the hands of his own sister through what is only described as a mishap. So this sister Prince Aelora was next in line to die because a couple of years later, still crazy with grief, she committed suicide. Makar's reign was regarded as peaceful, but during his 12th year as king, House Peak rose against the Iron Throne. The Peaks had already been loyal Blackfire supporters. After the first rebellion, they were stripped of two of their castles. And after the failed second rebellion, Lord Gorman Peak was executed. Now, some 20 years later, they decided to start a rebellion of their own. But King Makar chose to deal with them himself and led his army to battle. The two armies met in the Dornish Marches, an area bordering the Stormlands, the Reach, and Dorne. Makar's youngest son was also there, a 33-year-old Prince Aegon, from the Duncan Egg stories. Also two sons of the Lord of Casterly Rock, twin brothers Tywald and Theon. Tywald was serving as a squire for Robert Rain, the Lord of Castamir, and Theon was the squire of Prince Aegon. Makar led the attack on the main gates of Starpike, the last remaining castle of House Peak. During the charge, the Targaryen vanguard was hit by rocks thrown from the battlements above. Sadly, one found its way to Makar's head. The rock fell with such force that it crushed the king's crowned helm. As the charge continued, Tywald, the eldest of the Lannister twins, was trying to get through the broken gates when he was pierced through with a spear. He died in the hands of his brother, but before he did, Prince Aegon fulfilled his last request and dubbed him a knight. The castle was eventually captured and the rebellion was suppressed. Lord Robert Rain was also killed during the fighting. Afterwards, Roger Rain, his eldest son and heir, took a bloody vengeance by slaying seven prisoners before Prince Aegon arrived to stop the slaughter. The death of King Maegar caused political chaos and the matter of succession was so tangled that the hand of the king, Blood Raven, summoned the Great Council to settle the issue. All of this eventually led to Egg being crowned King Aegon V Targaryen. Aegon the Unlikely.